I'm fitter than I have ever been as a result of getting ready for this. So regardless of the fact that I'm doing the ride or not, I'm kind of, I'm feeling better for it. We want to find it ultimately a cure for myeloma, but really this event is all about the community, the myeloma community coming together to make myeloma history. It'll be a fantastic event and it, the atmosphere is great. It's quite a daunting experience to think you're going to do 300 miles in four days. You mention that to a non-cyclist and they are absolutely amazed. And it's no small thing. Uh, and we'll see today that the first day is usually a bit of a shock to some people because it's a, it's a long distance, uh, it's windy, it's in your face and everything, and it's, it's hard work. But people start settling into it, so um, I'm pretty sure that they'll, uh, they'll, they'll settle into it pretty quickly and start enjoying it. It's been really good, it's been really good fun this morning. Four, covered 45k, um, just about on uh, two and a half hours, something like that. So yeah, guys are going well, really good. Everybody's really enjoying it. I fell off my bike 23 years ago and broke my knee and I hadn't cycled again for 23 years. And some lovely lady convinced me to cycle to Paris against my better judgment for an amazing charity. It's not just about the funding, it's, it's actually just making people aware of it because when I was diagnosed with myeloma, I, I'd never heard of it before. Um, so to make people aware of it, I think it's, you know, it's a good thing. The money that we raised is almost secondary for me, you know, but cycling along there with your, with your jerseys out, um, it's almost been a pleasure to get myeloma for the people that I've met.